Hi, I'm Dr. Hackey Reitman. Welcome to another episode of Exploring Different Brains with one of our regulars, the man who founded Don't Diss My Ability up in Canada, Sean Smith. Sean, welcome back to Different Brains. Thanks for having me, Hackey. You've overcome many obstacles. You've become successful. If you had to boil it all down to how you managed to succeed, growing up without proper support, if you had to break it down into specific steps, what would they be? Oh, geez. You know, I, I, I think that's one of the, the hardest things to try and do, Hacky, because I think people, they, they have this idea of, of who they're going to be and, and what they're going to do. And, and rather than it being kind of linear, I would almost compare, you know, my trajectory to uh, the, the Plinko board and the price is right. I mean, this is my 20th job. I've literally done everything from shovel crap to being a blackjack dealer. I was a sheriff's officer with two murder trials, a uh, short order cook, a therapeutic foster parent. You know, I'm at the age now where I couldn't see how each one of those experiences was going to get me to where I am now. You know, there, there was no real careful planning into thinking this is where I was going to end up. It, it was almost a one haphazard you know, decision after another just to get by. You know, you you can't get through A to C without going through B. And I always tell people, you know, like I wouldn't wish my experiences on anyone, but I'm also at a point now where I wouldn't trade them for the world. But it's it's being on the other side of things, I think, that really helps people and, and resonates with them that, you know, you can get through this. Yes, it's hard. You know, it's it really is hard. But I also say no one ever said being awesome would be easy, right? You, 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 anything worth having is worth working for. You might not know what you're working towards, but that doesn't mean you should give up. That just means you should work harder. Well, that was very inspirational. And you made my day, Sean, I got to tell you, because <laughs> that's a great attitude. It really is. And it gets results. And we have to connect all the dots. And uh, just because uh, my life may be a series of failures interrupted by the occasional success, um, you know, in boxing, we used to say you judge a champion by what he does when he gets off the canvas, you know, because mm -hmm. we all get knocked down. And some of us get knocked down more than others. But with somebody like Sean Smith with Don't Diss My Ability, we know you keep trying, you keep going, and it'll work out. It'll work out. You got to push and you got to do it. And you got to have fun doing it too, which is something that's often missed you do I, I also think you have to fail you know I, and i think as men you know growing up we we were taught that failure is a sign of weakness and, and not to show weakness and i really i challenge that i know that i rarely make the same mistake twice so i want to make as many mistakes as possible the more mistakes i make the quicker i'm going to learn you know but it's really in changing the perception of how we view things absolutely what do you find is the biggest limiting factor to your company, Don't Diss My Ability? Jeez. Uh, right now, Hacky, I, I feel it's, it's the location. Um, you know, and this is where social media and, and analytics really come into play. Like, New Brunswick, Canada is not my market. I, my following is in Florida and, and California, the, the southern states. Uh, what I'm doing and what we're doing, you know, it really, to, to us, it seems like common sense. And when I, when I talk to people, they think, oh yeah, that's, it does seem like common sense, but yet it's so progressive. Um, you know, I've been shunned by every disability related nonprofit in the province. Um, two of, two of them have come back and apologized to me, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a threat because I'm an individual with a disability who's helping people with disabilities. You know, when, when you think of in inclusion, you know, it, it's a package, it, it's a product that was sold. It was created by people without disabilities for people with disabilities. Uh, it, it's, it's a business. And so anybody who comes in with, uh, you know, a fresh take on things is, is a shit disturber. And that's a badge that I wear proudly. You know, if, if we need to teach our kids about inclusion, it means we've already taught them how to exclude. So we need to think about, what what's actually happening and, and who's benefiting from this. Very interesting take. Very, very interesting. And uh, do you feel that um, 
And just as a segue to something else, do you feel that Canada is different from the United States based on your language in this regard you just spoke of? It's, yeah, it, it, it is. I mean, I have the benefit of, of having worked in Canada and the United States. My wife and I were therapeutic foster parents for at-risk youth in the state of Maine. And coming back across the border was a step back in time. And I, and I don't mean like a baby step. I mean a huge, giant leap backwards. Uh, it's incredible the amount uh, of supports and resources that, that were available just across the border and then to come back here and to have this horrible realization that, wow, you know, we're just, we're so far behind. And I guess one of my biggest challenges and, and frustrations is that, uh, you know, there are so many people who talk about progress, you know, and, and I joke because, you know, even my own government has really, has really shunned me. And so I just kind of scoff now and say, you know, they're too busy talking about progress and I'm too busy making it. Um, by the time they need me, they won't be able to afford me. <laughs> Now, when you do your counseling, is there a way, I don't know what the laws are in Canada, I'm not even sure what the laws are in the United States, but <clears throat> talk to us a little bit, because I'm sure you've considered um, telemedicine or doing things over right. the airwaves um, on a one-to-one -one basis or groups. I, I have. I'm a, a director for the Technology and Innovative Solutions chapter of the Canadian Counseling uh, and Psychotherapy Association, of which I'm a, a Canadian certified counselor. And so in respects to ethics, there are certain requirements in order to to meet the requirement, the ethics requirements in order to pro provide that type of counseling. Um, so there's a course that you need to go through and and uh, it, it, it's something that I've, I've definitely considered. Uh, but for me, I, I find the way that I'm going to be better able to reach people is by providing the content through my online platform, uh, and really, really em empowering people. Um, it's not to say that I won't ever do that, but really my focus would be trying to find speaking engagements and, and reaching a broader audience that way. Cause a big part of what I do is really challenging people's perceptions and, and changing their perspectives around uh, their kids and their thought processes and, and even their parenting styles and how they contribute to, to what's happening. Um, do you have any message you'd like to give to the National Down Syndrome Society? I'm going to be addressing them uh, down in Washington, D.C. soon. And uh, I wondered if you had any uh, thoughts you might wish to share with those individuals and parents and families of the National Down Syndrome Society? Sure. You know, I'll, I'll bring it back to no one ever said being awesome would be easy. You know, I, I know that I'm not for everybody and everybody's not for me. We often feel like, you know, validation comes from people liking us and, and being surrounded by people. But I know now as I mature that that's not what it's about. It's about being surrounded by the right people. And if people don't accept you for who you are, they're not friends. Find those people in your life that when you think of them, the value they add to your life just automatically comes into your mind. Those are people who are your friends. If you, have, if you hesitate for even a second, not a friend, they're an acquaintance. Find those people that add value to your life and who you are as a person. Surround yourself with them and be that person for them as well. And that's where happiness will come from. It comes from, it comes from within. You're not going to find it by trying to gain acceptance from other people because that means you're trying to be something or somebody that you're not. Wow, that was excellent. I'm going to give that a lot of thought. That was a good one. I'm glad we got that one on film. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, is there anything else you would like to describe or discuss for our differentbrains.org audience that we haven't covered, Sean? Well, uh, really, Hacky, I, I'd like to express a, a heartfelt thank you to you. You know, I, I just got goosebumps. I, I don't know that the people who, who watch your podcast or the people who know you really understand how you've been able to connect people. You know, like I was making these horrible videos in my basement, man, and, and you found me, <laughs> you know. And so this, in a, in a big way, was was a, a beginning for me. In a way, you discovered me, Hacky. Like, I went from making these horrible videos in my basement, um, and they were horrible, man, 
to, to you getting in touch with me and, and how that was a catalyst for change. Again, you know, it's kind of like that Plinko chip. It just, it bounces around. I, I met uh, Dr. Stephen Shore. I, I met uh, J.R. Harding, uh, you know, Boaz and, and Minerva Santiago, and then going to speak at Trailblazing where, you know, in, in 2016, you were the keynote. And then going back again this year and presenting alongside Temple Grandin. You know, it. Uh, you just, you never know where where things will take you but unless you put yourself out there you know it, it's never going to happen so i take it back to the videos you know they, they weren't great but they don't have to be you can improve on something that exists but you can't improve on something that doesn't but it all started with me taking a chance and putting it out there and and you finding me and and reaching out to me and and so thank you and and i i really take a lot of pride in in being a connector and so you know, Aaron Bauma is a great example of that, right? He, you know, 45 minutes away from me, I, I was able to connect with him and introduce him to you. And now he's a contributing blogger, right? So it's, it's you really have developed a, a community of, of people who want to help each other succeed. And, and you know, we've just, you know, we're, we're, a, we're a broad, wide family of, of uniquely gifted individuals and, and I really think Different Brains and what you've done has given us a, a great venue and, and, and place to, to share our unique gifts and, and a safe place at, at that. And, and so I thank you, Hacky, for, for all of your work. Well, you're too kind. Thank you, Sean Smith. I truly admire everything you're doing up there in Canada with Don't Diss My Ability, your life story, which uh, I hope you make into a biography sometime is uh, truly inspirational. And uh, um, I've really enjoyed, as always, talking with you. How can people best get in touch with you? They can reach me on my website. If you do a quick Google search for Don't Diss My Ability, I'll be the first one that comes up. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Um, yeah, those, those are the best ways to get in touch with me. And I'd love to hear from you. If you, if you want to send me an email through my website, I'd love to hear from you. www.ddmacs.ca. So that's ddmax.com. And I'd love to hear from you. You can email me at sean at ddmax.ca. I want to commend you on all the work you do and fighting the good fight and overcoming everything you're overcoming and being one of the good guys who's helping so many other people and having fun doing it. Thank you. Sean Smith, thanks. Thanks for having me, Haki. I appreciate it. Exploring Different Brains is a production of Different Brains, Inc. For more information, visit us at differentbrains.org.